Today I'm playing a Geogesser map that is literally called Pain and Suffering. This is apparently the hardest Geogesser map in existence. So I thought today we'll play it. I'm obviously going to be absolutely terrible, but it will probably be funny to watch. So to begin with, we'll give ourselves one minute per round. Why not? Let's just see what happens. Oh man, I'm going to get such a terrible score. Okay, so we're just in a forest. Can we move around? Yeah, obviously we do move quite slowly. Oh, hang on, hang on. We've got some text. I can use this. What? What? What is that? Okay, LOS, L-O-S. So, sounds kind of Spanish, doesn't it? But, you know, a lot of countries speak Spanish, so that is not particularly helpful. I am stressed, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try go up the hill. We literally have 30 seconds left. Let's try and work out, are we in Northern Hemisphere? I think the sun's over here, so south, so that means we are in Northern Hemisphere. We've got 19 seconds left. Do I just go in Spain? It could be Spain, why not? Yeah, let's go for it. We will go over here, and I have no idea where exactly I'm going. I've chosen this area, don't quite know why let's go for it i'm gonna click space Excellent start, Jack. It was Northern Hemisphere. I always forget just how far down the equator is. I don't know about you, but I kind of imagine it more up here for some reason, which is silly, I know. Right, well, uh, that's a brilliant start. We got zero points, so let's keep it up. Maybe we'll get zero points every single game. Oh, we're just in another forest, but we're a bit more in the open this time. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice spot. I would be happy to walk here, I presume. Is that a horse? I think that's a horse, but I can't really tell from here. What? What on earth? <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad in this video. I'm actually quite embarrassed. Maybe this is one of those geography videos that I should never upload. Right, about half our time's gone. I can't work out where the sun is. See, that's probably gonna be like a deliberate thing because the sun allows you to work out the hemisphere. I think this is the sun over in the south, so northern hemisphere once again. But where do I go? There are so many countries in the northern hemisphere. I have no idea. It doesn't look crazily hot. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go Minnesota. Why not? I don't know. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. Well, we are in the Americas. So things have taken a turn. We've just scored 14 points as opposed to zero. We are technically the correct consonant. It was Costa Rica. So we've had two Central American games in a row there. Let's go again. Is this a train track or is it just a weird path? I think it's an X train track. Yeah, potentially. Oh my god. God, well, what am I meant to do with this? It's creepy. I feel like Edward Cullen's just gonna pop up from behind a tree. So I think deliberately they're just never ever where you expect them to be. Hence why we've had two quite obscure Central American countries back to back on just some nice wooded areas that don't look that tropical or hot. I've got 18 seconds left. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna go Europe. I'm gonna go Romania, but that is literally based on nothing. Is that a really stupid guess? Yeah, I'm sure it is. What? Where are we here? It was a really southern island of Japan. So after our high of getting 14 big ones, we're now back to zero points out of 5,000. Excellent. Wow, this is a big game we're playing today. <laughs> Ooh, well, this is nice. We're on the beach and it is delightful. Fantastic. Hang on, hang on. We've got a bit of wood. We've got a, a bit of a crate. Hang on, that's not wood at all. They're both bits of crates. Right, this is just so unbelievably difficult. Are there any clues here or is it just a bit of seaweed? I think it's some more sea wood or something. Right, okay. Do you think we'll find anything? We've wasted half our time looking at boxes that I misidentified the materials of. I have literally not found anything else other than the fact that it's just quite nice. Where's the sun? It's all I've got. South, so Northern Hemisphere. Um, <laughs> Philippines. I literally just threw it out there last second. Oh, it's Central America again. It's an area of Mexico. Oh, I wish I'd gone in the Caribbean. I kind of panicked. I wasted too much time there. Potentially, I could have actually gotten a decent score. Because, you know, it, it did look like Trinidad and Tobago, for example. And that wouldn't have been too far away. What on earth did I go Philippines for? It's because I just wasted too much time and I didn't know where to click. My God. This game is absolutely ridiculous. We know that it was photographed in 2023 from... Oh. This says 2021! I don't know why I'm panicking as if that changes any of my logic. I don't know anything. Northern Hemisphere again because of the sun. I mean, normally places like this I go with Chile, but it's distinctly the Southern Hemisphere. Where could this be? Look at these mountain ranges and stuff. Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm thinking like Kazakhstan. That's going to be a wild place that would be included in this map. I'm going to click early. Why not? It's, uh, is that actually USA? It is? Oh my god, another zero points. I think this is the furthest away we've been. 7,000 miles. Basically halfway around the earth there. Okay, well, let's, uh, view the results. <laughs> 
That's so bad. I need to play again. We need to get to triple figures, <laughs> which I understand is not a particularly large goal, but it would be a big deal for me. Look at this. Look at the breakdown. We got zero points every single round other than the second one where we were in the correct continent. My God. All right. We have 14 to beat. Oh, we're already off. I actually wanted to do different settings this time. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I guess that's out the window. Okay. Well, uh, we've got water. It does not look quite as Caribbean as last time in terms of colour. Uh, in terms of the rocks, no idea. We are moving very slowly. Come on, click, click, click. Click, click, click. I'm probably going to go Central America though, just because of how many times it was somewhere in Central America. Like, I think it was exclusively the Americas, so we've got no new info. Let's just go for it. Let's go crazy. Let's go with Nicaragua. I know nothing about the coast of Nicaragua, but it's worth trying, isn't it? Do we have anywhere that would be Island Sanctuary? Oh, nine seconds. Yeah, why not? Guess. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's record breaking. 42 points there. It was Mexico. We were just three or four countries away. Not bad at all. 2,022 miles from the location. But I'm curious, how far is 2,022 miles in kilometers, for example? If only there was a convenient and easy way for me to find that out. What's that? All I need to do is highlight it. Okay. And then the Opera browser will instantly tell me that it's 3,254. 4.09 kilometers. Wow, what an amazing new feature of the Opera Browser that I'm using to play GeoGuessr today. Where actually were we on that GeoGuessr round? We were in Isla Montserrat. If only there was an AI assistant built into my browser that would allow me to learn more about this place. Tell me about Isla Montserrat. Oh, here we go. Harry, the AI assistant, has informed me it's an island in Mexico off the Gulf of California, and it is an uninhabited island that forms part of the Loreto Municipally Municip 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 Municipality. Municipality. As well as Aria Opera also has a built-in music player. You can see I've recently been listening to Rob Bryden's podcast on Spotify. We've also got widgets for Instagram and WhatsApp. Have I told you about Opera's dynamic tabs yet? You might think my only tab is the GeoGuessr tab, but wait, what's this? Whoop! All my YouTube tabs are hidden away nice and conveniently at the click of a button for when I need them. Opera also has a free VPN and ad block built into this browser. It really does have everything. So if you want to download it, which you can do for free, then click my download link at the top of the description. Opera, thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to GeoGuessr. We are on a beach again, back-to-back -back beaches. And I think my trick is, I'm just gonna click somewhere in Central America because that has done us very well so far. But can I ask, how have we not caught up to this man yet? Ah, it's because we were walking this way. That makes a lot of sense. And he's coming the same way. Well, where's he gone? <gasps> da -da -da. <laughs> So, looking at this fella, does that give us any kind of clues? Is he security? Is it somewhere that warrants having security? Where could that be? I don't know. 18 seconds left. I might just go Costa Rica, but on a kind of... Mm, do I want to go Costa Rica? I did never realise there was a place called David in Panama. That's kind of blown my mind. Uh, I guess we'll just go there and hope for the best. Oh, fantastic. Isn't this literally like exactly where I clicked when it was Central America in the previous game? I think I clicked exactly there. I cannot believe. <laughs> All right, well, after our high of 42 big ones, we're back to a low of zero again. That's more like it. Right, play again. What is with all of these beach rounds? Get me off the beach. I'll be honest, I love a beach. I absolutely can't get enough of them. They look absolutely amazing. All of these I would visit, but like, how on earth am I meant to guess where they are? And there's a strange hue. That's what I don't like about this one. Oh, I feel like we could be quite close to the equator there looking at the compass, but I'm not sure. We've got a lot of seagulls flying about. Is this just another uninhabited island? How on <laughs> Did a geoguess a person get here? Oh my god, w where do I go here? Montserrat? Guadalupe. It's gonna be Guadalupe. Why not? I'm going right there, middle of nowhere. We'll have a click just in case we find any clues. We're not getting anything though but seagulls, I don't think. We have a boat over there. That's our only sign of life. Let's hit the button. My god. Where even is that? See, it's never a good sign when you're so far away that the arrow has to swap direction. That's like quite embarrassing. 9,000 miles. I'm not sure you can get much further away than that without the number then going down because you're getting closer from the other side of the earth. We're in the British Indian Ocean Territory. Look at that. 
Who could get that correct? I would be fascinated to know how someone would manage that other than just doing the same round again. That is insane. <laughs> My god. Oh, we're back in the forest. Which do I prefer? Do I want to be in the forest or do I want to be by the beach? This mob really does deserve its title of pain and suffering. We do actually have what is quite tropical in terms of foliage and our previous forests didn't really have that. So I think I'm going to go Asia this time and I'm going to go somewhere around here. Should we go Thailand maybe? We could go Thailand. I think there is quite a bit of coverage in Thailand and there's a lot of just areas like this national park that it could be. Should I go for it? I'm going to go for it. Hit the button. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm further away than last time. We're gonna have some line swaps here. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Why is it Central America again? Why did I ever leave Central America? 10,200 miles away. Hang on a second. What is the circumference of the world? 24,000. Okay. So that means about 12,000 miles is the max distance that I could be incorrect. And I am getting dangerously close to that. <laughs> Right, I am not leaving Central America. It's like the map plays mind games with you around whether or not you should click Central America because it's multiple Central Americas in a row. And then the one time that you click it, that's when it's just somewhere in the Philippines. Look at this. It's nice. It's a nice spot. This looks quite similar to Bolivia when I've been here in GeoGuessr before, like a year ago. So I think it's where I'm going to go. I'm not really going to think about it. I'll just go around here and let's guess. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we've just gotten a record-breaking 190 points. <laughs> Where is that? Peru. Neighbouring country. Is that the first time we've been in neighbouring country? 190 points? That is the triple figures that I so dreamed of. 2-3-2. Two, two. Now we play again, and we're going to try and get four figures. Can it be done? Can a terrible GeoGuessr player such as myself get four figures in the hardest GeoGuessr map? I think if I click in Central America five times, all I need is one decent guess. So let's do it. All right, where are we? We have... Oh, look at that. Look at that weird bit of red on the ground. What does that mean? It, hang on, it follows us. It's our vehicle. It's someone's hat. I did not see that coming. Oh, my God. Forget everything I said about Central America. That's Chinese, right? I think that's Chinese rather than Japanese. Oh, I don't know. That could be Chinese or Japanese. Which way do I want to go? I think it looks more Japanese. So that's where we're going to go. We have an area here of a map. So do you know what? We'll go down there. You never know. Can you imagine? This would be fantastic. All right, let's guess. Yes, okay, I think this is a Japanese territory, but obviously it was still really obscure, tiny island that's not really anywhere near the mainland. But it does give us 687 points out of a possible 5,000, which means we are well on the way to four figures. We could do it in just this round. Look at that. We've got a fella over there. Uh, we're in the middle of a field. We are literally in a field and there's just seagulls everywhere. Oh, that an unreal little bird, that fella. That might not be a seagull at all, actually. Right, I want to see these two. Can they give us any more? clues. Oh no, we've lost them. Where have they gone? They're hiding somewhere. Oh, they're back over there. Is this useful to just chase these people? Hang on, hang on. We found the sea. The sea is over there. Uh, we've got a boat. We've got kind of a grey sand. I don't know. This means nothing to me. I've got nine seconds left. South. The so northern hemisphere. Uh, let's just go Guatemala. Why not? By the coast. Not too far from the coast. Right there. Guess. Indian Ocean Territory again. Is it that same area? No, it's a different little island. As if there's even coverage of these islands. The last time we were like here, I think, maybe there. And now we're up here. Zero points again. <laughs> I can't believe my big goal of this video is to get over a thousand points within a total of five rounds. Oh, they're all just so rural every time. Can't believe it. We need text. I'm just absolutely screwed without text. Okay, we've got cows. So this could be somewhere like South Africa, maybe, or potentially it could be... Hang on, let's check the sun. Uh, Northern Hemisphere, so not South Africa. And instead, it could be somewhere like Mexico. I'm probably going to go Mexico. We've reached the end of the road. Let's return to the start and we'll go the other way. I don't know which way I came from. Oh, what's that? It's a little sign from somewhere. How, how do I even look at that? I'm not going to get anything out of that, am I? Let's just click somewhere in the middle of Mexico. Just who has any idea? It looks quite nice. Let's go right there and guess. Oh my god, they gave me confetti. They gave me confetti. Oh my god, I am a genius. <laughs> wow. Of course, yeah. Chilla pants and all. I mean, that's got to put us on the leaderboard, realistically. <laughs> Can we beat 3,500 points in one round? Oh, we've got dense, dark foliage, but warm. We've got palm tree type things. Are they palm trees? Is that what you call them? Yeah. Oh, 
it's delightful. I'm, I'm lost though. I, I can't work out which way to go. What is going on? How do I leave? Oh, once again, this could be anywhere. Right, we are on a beach though. What a cool looking area. I bet there's such amazing wildlife here. I don't know where to go though. Uh, when in doubt, go somewhere in the middle of... Yeah. Is that St. Kitts and Nevis? Yes, it is. All right, guess. British Indian Ocean Territory. I need to click there one time. That's really going to pay off. Oh, my God. God. Where was this last time? I think it, it was the bottom of America, wasn't it? USA. But could it be USA again? I don't know. Probably not, to be fair. I reckon there's probably going to be a sign, though, around this. There's got to be, right? We can have a sign around here. What is this? They're like ruins, almost. I have no idea. It doesn't feel very... Oh. Oh. Okay, so with this kind of scripture, we want to get out of Mexico. We want to be like, maybe Jordan? Do you think Jordan? Yeah, middle of Jordan, why not? We could get some points here, but let's get something. Get. <gasps> oh my god, I was just up the road. I was literally on the same road. We are geniuses. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring him in. 8,900 points. Right, we're going to have to have one last game because in our first game, we totaled two figures. In our second game, we totaled three. In this game, we have totaled four. We need to get to over 10,000 points, five figures in this final round. I'm very excited about it. Okay, totally different kind of area. We've got a bench. Oh, we've got a bike. It's not a bench. 2023 Google. That's all I've really got. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got a little family. Uh, they're just walking along the road. I don't know. I don't know where they could be from. Do I want to go with, like, Bangladesh or something, maybe? Rural Bangladesh? Could it be? Maybe. We've got 10 seconds. I've clicked somewhere. Uh, we have a cow. This could work, potentially. Oh! That's a good start. It was India. I was going to go India to begin with, but I thought, let's go with a similar but more obscure country. I should have just stuck with India, but that's a thousand points to begin with. So if we can keep that up, then we might get to five figures. Although, actually, if we kept that up, we wouldn't. We'd, we'd get to about 6,000 points, which is four figures. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, we are back in... Oh, look at this. It's unbelievable. We're back in, like, a rainforest this time. Uh, we have a person over there. Oh, no, I'm not feeling good. I think we might have zero points on the cards here. It could be anywhere. It could literally be anywhere. It doesn't look like an island country, though, does it? It looks like quite a lot of space. So where have we been previously? I should probably go somewhere like Guatemala, shouldn't I? I think so. That's where I'm going to click. And now I'm just going to keep clicking about and seeing what else we can find. Oh. It's going to be Asia, isn't it? Don't be Asia. I'm feeling good about this, though. It kind of could be, you know, somewhat Amazonian. He's not Asian, but obviously he's probably a tourist. Let's just guess. Okay, that's fine. It was Colombia. It's actually quite near to the coast. Well, actually, no, I suppose that's not near at all, is it? 300 points is not good. We are on round two of five. I need to basically be bang on. Where are we here? We'll buy some actual huts. So we can take a look at some people, potentially. Okay, so this does look like Africa, doesn't it? In terms of the people, in terms of the buildings. But Africa is a very large country, very diverse. Where do we want to actually specifically go? Maybe somewhere like Kenya? It could potentially be Kenya. Do I want to go Kenya? Do I oh, we're actually indoors somewhere. We've got any text? We've got a lady hanging out in here. This is insane. This is so crazy. I might change from Kenya to Tanzania. I've gone a bit crazy then. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh, no, it was Kenya. But I think I actually probably have more points than if I'd stayed where I was. I don't know. The reason I changed to Tanzania is because the landscape reminded me of what I've seen of Kilimanjaro. And I know Kilimanjaro's in Tanzania. Let's do the next one. <sighs> where are we? Where are we? I wanted Indian Ocean Territory. I never thought I'd say that. I think we're on the right side of the road here. But I always kind of get that wrong, let's be honest. Uh, Northern Hemisphere. We can probably find maybe a sign before this ends. If we are lucky. Obviously, some people play this with no moving. <laughs> in which case, I would have absolutely no hope at all. Right, just keep clicking, Jack. Keep clicking. Oh, hang on. Here we go, here we go. Private road, no trespassing. Kill em Ranch Company. Does that sound American? No firearms. Sounds American to me. Where in America would we go, though? We've got an actual ranch. Very flat land. Probably. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know that much about the landscape of America. I've gone outside of Dallas. Hopefully we're in the right country. There we go. 500 miles. Uh, we are actually in the correct state, I think. Because, yeah, just the border of lower Texas there. And I was over on the border over on that side. Well, that's not bad, is it? 1,500 points. Let's do our final round. Oh, looks like a tricky one. Oh, we are moving sideways as well. Why are we moving sideways? But the road stays that way. I think this route is glitched out. Yeah, it's really quite disorientating to look at. <laughs> oh, no, I've just seen. I'm on a total of 6,000 points. I need a basically a perfect score. 
floor here. And I have no idea where I am. I'm going to go South Africa. We are not getting this correct at all. That's where I'm going. Let's lock it in. Right consonant, wrong country. It was all the way up in Kenya, which means there it is. Oh, I'm a rookie traveler. Well, that's nice. 6,200 points. So I did not reach my goal of at least 10,000 there, even though we did have a couple of not too bad guesses that time. You definitely learn the kind of places that you should be clicking once you've played it a few times. So let me know if you want me to play this again. I'd definitely be up for that. Let me know of ways we can make it even harder because obviously, you know, I've already mastered it, so I need to kick it up a level. And of course, make sure you check out the Opera browser the links in the description thank you very much for watching and i will see you later bye